damn we'll, it. We will uh, sort of run through the season in, in order, but obviously you've just mentioned that crash at Brands. And I bet after after Nicola delayed the wedding twice with COVID, and then I bet when she was watching that race live and she's seen you go backwards, oh, like you must have been about 12 foot in the air backwards at like 100 miles an hour. And obviously with it going downhill as well, it's mm-hmm. like it's even a bigger drop. And then somersaulting backwards into the barrier, followed by your bike. I bet you thought like it might be getting delayed again. Like <laughs> honestly, that's that's the biggest crash I've ever had in terms of like magnitude of a crash. Mm. Um Jesus. Like last lap of the last race of the series, you know, like it, long and short of it, it's how I feel like my championship's gone, but you know, like you tipping into podium position tip into the first corner on the last lap and then next thing i knew i was like up in the air upside down and you boys know what it's like i was up in the air upside down i had time to think like oh man and i was still thinking it and then i'm thinking i'm still thinking it and i've not hit the ground yet you know like it was everything goes slow motion doesn't it and it was just massive and i waited for the, <laughs> the bigger thud. the crash the slower it goes oh yeah it? and fine. i waited for the thud and it just but i think what was worse about it is because <clears throat> You boys know what it's like when you when you have a crash and you can almost manage a crash. You almost get good at crashing. Not that you want to get good at crashing, but you can sort of, you know what's coming. You prepare yourself. Yeah. You know, you start to lose the front or you start to lose the rear and you know what's sort of coming next. That one, I just got T-boned from behind. And then literally the first thing I knew was like my the back end had locked solid. And then I was just, first yep. one. 45 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, now I was just upside down. Now I was just yeah. Quite honestly, like that was it. It, it is horrendous. I'll, I'll get my sister to put like a little clip in so people can. Yeah, well, it wasn't it wasn't shown fully on TV, but they showed the onboards afterwards. I put some of the stills up on my socials. Yeah, I seen that on Instagram. And for for people Jesus. that have like say done a track day or club racing at Brands Hatch, Paddock Hill Bend's one of the scariest corners to like sort of get to. In terms of your first lap around any track, I would say Paddock Hill Bend's up there with one of the uh, scariest ones. I actually know someone that actually t- did a shit in the leathers the first time they went down Paddock Hill Bend. <laughs> so just to give it some context, I, I, I won't name and shame it, but I do know somebody. Like, oh, have, have, you ever shame, done, have you ever done that? Like, no. no. I in, in your leathers? Oh, yeah, in my yourself. leathers. Yeah. Have you? When? <laughs> And that's what uh, it takes, kids, to be British <laughs> front runner. That's what it takes. Uh, Donington Park. Uh, when I was on the Tyco BMW uh, qualifying. <clears throat> Out of had... nerves or you just had to go and you didn't have time? No, no, because I hit the ground that hard. And, uh, I, and I popped a plop out. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know, so this is the worst thing. So I had a massive... It was in qualifying. I remember Hector Barber, who's the world's worst caravan, was trying to get a tow. And he, he proper annoyed me. So I like I slowed up. Oh, honestly, he just hitches on, puts his flipping special cable on, away you go. Do you know what? He's that daft, right? He gets a toe. <laughs> he gets a toe. And then he's, because he's really fast, he then passes you and then forgets that he was actually trying to get a toe. And then, so he passes you on a qualifying lap going really fast and then gets lost and <laughs> slows right up. He's an absolute dingbat. Anyway. Yeah. So, I, so he got him away. So I was completely offline, and I don't know what happened, but I was just offline on the inside, coming onto the back straight at Donington, and it just flipping pinged me up in the air, slapped me down. It's the first time I'd used the airbag suit, or the first time that I'd had to use the airbag suit. Went off, big old hit. I was glad of the airbag, sort of trudged off, <clears throat> and that was fine. And then actually the Alpine Stars guy was there that weekend. So I went back to the caravan, and he's like, oh, yeah, the airbag. I said, yeah, the airbag's mint, and this, that, and the other. And you know, you're like... <sighs> Sat in the caravan. It's a small area, isn't it? You know, there's like three or four of us in there. <sighs> Something's a bit. <laughs> this this airbag's a bit smelly. <laughs> no, son. And I was sat there. You know, like you sort of take your leathers half down, don't you? So I was half out my leathers, but still sat in it. And it didn't feel any squidge or anything. But you know, like you just kept getting a whiff of something a bit wrong. <laughs> So but I've, I stayed in my kit for about an hour afterwards, having a cup of tea and all this stuff. At what point did you start judging other people in the caravan? Going, well, you just think there's something well. going. You think oh, it wasn't. Yeah, till I got properly changed, I realised what had happened. Do you know this? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> 
so going back to Paddy Kilburn, yeah, it's, 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 as, as you approach it. Someone made that like totally classy, like, yeah, it just, just happened. Like, and we're just both sitting here going, fair enough, mate. <laughs> like, he literally shot himself. As, as, as you approach, you, oh, you, God, along the start finish straight on a super bike, you'll be doing about 170. And then just as you get over the line, hard on the brakes, and you, you can't see where you're going. It's just completely blind. You've kind of got your reference point, so you know where to be, but the actual track, you can't see. You just, you know that you're going to be going downhill steep. And so as you're tipping in there to get to get rear-ended and then go flying up in the air backwards, going back into the gravel, it's like, yeah. Uh, Injuries-wise, did you... I, I presume you must have been knocked out or something, were you? No, I wasn't. Um, it really weird one, actually, because I, I felt really groggy. Um, <clears throat> I remember all of it. I wasn't knocked out. Definitely wasn't knocked out. There's no uh, proper impact marks to my helmet. There's a bit, a bit of gravel touch but nothing major because it was like um a really important helmet to me so i was glad it wasn't marked why is that then sorry oh it's just uh my granddad had passed away and it was just one that i had another one done just with all these little bits on it yeah. so it was just like just as you have different i all my helmets are different designs and that one was just like this most special one this year so because the like uh, paint nation do your list. yeah yeah, so, yeah. yeah I saw that on social media yeah. what a yeah that is it was, and yeah. it was a real nice job i mean paint, yeah. paint nation does some mint ones but that one was a a bit, bit Pers- more special very as well. Um, so yeah, never never touched my head, but I was been super groggy from it, and I I, I rung my bell without ringing my bell. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm still struggling a little bit with my neck, not struggling, but yeah, I can feel that it doesn't turn the same as it did. I'm just, I think it's just like a bit of a whiplash type thing. Jesus, mm-hmm. well, because how, how <clears throat> bloody hell feels like forever ago since we were last on it's a month ago, isn't it? I think just yeah. over. I mean, I, I broke, I broke me a bone in my hand, but nothing major, nothing. I proper got away with it, like hundred mm-hmm. percent got away with it. 